because chicks are into Wicca. I must say, as a 13 year old, I was <coughs> really into witch witchcraft and, yeah. and you know, t- tarot cards and runes. And like, this is a very adolescent girl yeah. thing to I'd be like into. I'd like to move on. Okay. Oh. Thanks. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. down memory lane with that one it's such a jam i mean solid yeah solid this is work. a young patreon <laughs> and anybody else do credited on that is that just him i forget uh young patreon and obi-wan cannoli that's what oh, it was obi-wan cannoli obi-wan i mean classic ynh yeah, yeah. contributor and then who edited the video remember who edited the video that was so when funny they, when they did the music video you know with it? Uh, <laughs> was that? I don't see. It just looks like it's Young Patreon. No, who did the edit though on the video? Yeah, we're we're not on that version. Uh, you got to find the version that was like the music video. Right. Yeah, <laughs> this one is just a still image. <laughs> Let me see if I can find. That Look at that! Look at Uncle Terry's face. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I always thought it would be because the the video is fantastic. But I always thought, wouldn't it be amazing if we could try to get the cool guys? into a video like shoot a music video i mean most of them are dead but like the <laughs> the, the, the ones who are alive yeah, <laughs> yeah and, and not incarcerated it'd be awesome to, it would be really cool but also it probably i don't know it probably wouldn't go well because 
when you shoot a music video, <clears throat> you sit around all the, you know, there's a lot yeah. of like time to kill, which time, time to kill is like a real it's kryptonite for cool guys. <laughs> like they're not like, oh, I'll just chill and read, you know, the comedy curator edited the video. That's what it was. Um, so yeah, the three of them, but that, yeah, I remember when that first came out, I could, I, I played that thing like a hundred times and I watched that video over and over. The video really <clears throat> enhanced the music, which is it already. Does, yeah, yeah. The music's incredible. I mean, it, it took me down memory. Fuck McDonald's. I forgot about yeah. how they took away their money. Two million dollars. That was a bad mistake. And you just purchased that car. Remember? Yeah. And the the Lamborghini. I had to yeah. send it back. And then, uh, what's it called? It was uh, bad. Morton's Steakhouse. Morton's came they back. They came through with a couple grand. But then, uh. <laughs> Sometimes I see people <laughs> fail. A couple grand. They'll, they'll give, it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. To barely paint the set but they'll, uh, from red and yellow to steakhouse colors. They'll, they'll tell uh, <laughs> Garth Brooks, they'll be like, you ever go to Morton's? They, they came through when we needed them. <laughs> <laughs> so there's an update. There's a Garth update. <laughs> what well here's the thing so i was allowed to comment <clears throat> right what and people can comment underneath my comment but i can't see those comments i don't know what setting oh, that is that's interesting it's a whole weird thing it's like if you pull up garth <laughs> you'll see that i'm uh i think you'll if you go to <laughs> go ahead and uh go to the Either the one on the far right there or the middle one. I forget which one I commented Look on. Look at him. Last. Look at him with his back turned to the empty. You need to be doing these. There, there. there you are. Okay. See, but I couldn't read any of the comments underneath it. <gasps> view replies and you don't. Yeah. Can you view? Can you see replies or no? You can't, but I can't. Wow. Yeah. So it's like he's giving you. Oh, here yeah. we go. He's giving you permission to contribute, but then not. Letting me. Reap the fruit yeah, of your labor. Not enjoy the benefits. Yeah. 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 Which is an interesting mind fuck, right? It's a punishment of sorts. Yeah. 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 He, it's I a, went very calculating. Full restriction. Full unrestriction. <laughs> Fully unrestricted. It's I want to like play ball with all the other kids. <laughs> You're putting me in a special ed group. I don't like it. He heard you. He must have heard you. He unblocked you. Yeah. Well, sort of. Sort of. Why can't I see the comments? Why can't why That's come part I of can't. the fun. It is part of the Hey, you can watch the kids play kickball. I want to play. <laughs> He's not letting you. Mm -mm. Will you please parody his photos? Because I know that Sean takes your photographs, your well, your photographs. Here's the thing that's happening is that I have started uh, talking about him a little bit on stage. <gasps> oh. <laughs> and that goes away if I'm allowed to play. But yeah. Uh oh. If not. Hey, uh, Garth, I got something for you. Uh, My uh, uh, book. <laughs> I'd like to play alone, please. Um, I just got, these are the advanced copies. It's amazing. So this book comes out, if you're watching this, the day this is released, comes out in two weeks. I'm very excited. Um, it's a beautiful cover. It's so beautiful. Look at the back. Even. Yeah. And look uh, who endorses you, Tom. I got the big blurbs. I got big blurbs, lots of variety. I got Jon Stewart. <sighs> Uh, from former host of The Daily Show. Maybe you Big heard of talents. him. Big talents. I got Ali Wong. Come on. She's a female. <laughs> Diverse. She's Asian. She Check. endorsed it. Check. John's a, a Jew, right, Stuart? John Stewart's Jewish. Check. Male. Great. Uh, and then I got gendered. Joe Rogan, <gasps> polarizing influencer. <laughs> All three said, buy this book. And you could pre-order it, and if you pre-order it, you'll uh, today you'll get it probably the day it's released. Um, so I'm very nice. excited. I'm very proud of it. Also, there's eBooks if you want to if you don't want the hard copy and audiobooks. So uh, you can go wherever you get your audiobooks, Audible, or wherever you like to do it. Um, but I'm very excited for it. Me yeah. too. And I, and we just got those yesterday. Yeah. And it's so exciting to finally hold the finished product. In yeah, your, yeah. In my little my bird paws. Yep. I mean, I've been watching you. Tick, 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 tick for tick, a tick. long time. Yeah. And then to see it, uh, very special. Come and to life. Very pretty cover. Good, Great artwork and so you. It's like perfect you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I can't wait to read it. I cannot. Um, as long as we're plugging, plug, butt plugs, may I plug some dates really quick? Yeah, First of all, of check out my merch page, the, the, the Christina P. Mom Jeans special. I've got some really 
bang and merch. My favorite right now are the um, non-gender specific onesies I'm selling. Person with a penis, person with a vagina, to be in full compliance with today's, you know, standards. Yeah. And also some great 80s looking stuff for um, for my special. It's really fun. There's also uh, a couple things I really like in the store now, the JMID stuff. Really good, and, yeah. Um, there's one yeah, that's, that's done, one. like in a NASA uh, parody, I guess, and, and one in a... <laughs> <laughs> There's also one done in the uh, Dunkin' Donuts font. <laughs> J and my D. That's so good. Um, and then there's all new. This is the stuff that I, I don't know. I feel like is the real most exciting is the Fed Smoker stuff. Oh, of course. Um, it has like the, uh, oh, the, the Fed Smoker one. cap and the T-shirt at the top. Um, those right there with oh, like the, the Fed Mobile. <laughs> that's amazing. Uh, the Falcon. It's fucking rad. That's yeah. the actual Fed, and that's smoke. really a wink to who knows. You know, if you have that on, someone's <laughs> like, <laughs> they know, they know, they yeah. know. Yeah. All right, let me plug my dates. This okay. is the week of June first. I will be in Atlantic City, New Jersey, for one night only. One night only. There's a handful of tickets left for the Borgata. Come see me there. And then June fifth, Boston, Massive, huge tits. At the Wilbur, very small tickets by the time this airs may be gone, so get them now. Then I go in July to Washington Dick Cum at the DC Improv. Jesus. Two nights in Man Friend Disco at Cobb's Comedy Club. One night in Meat Rattle. The Neptune, those are almost gone as well. Cleveland, Ohio at Hilarities in August. Minneapolis tits as well in August. Um, and the, you know, we're gonna we're gonna add some stuff. Nashville in October, Christina P online.com uh, for tickets. Thank All you right. so much. I love you. Uh, I guess the thing I'll keep plugging is my added show at the um what is this June first, you said? Well I'll be at sorry, at the I did I added a third show at the Marat Theater in Indianapolis June twelfth. And I have a show oh yeah, July second, the late show here in Austin at ACL at the Moody Theater. And uh, I added a show July 6th at Atwood Concert Hall in Anchorage, Alaska. Oh. And finally, July 24th, I will be at Ball Arena for an added show in Denver, Colorado. So Amazing. Thank you very much. Oh, that's so gay. Now. <laughs> Ball Arena. Ball Arena. Yeah. Yeah. Very yeah, excited. Stupid. Chilling in Denver, y'all. Y'all. All right. Ready? I'm ready, bro. Let's get started let's get faded hi hi can i kindly ask to not take any pictures of the monitors is that okay but you're on the public street and i'm stood in public oh, i mean it's absolutely fine i'm just uh very nice to begin in you know it's uh, basically just trying to keep everything as private as we can yeah I mean, but i've I got a youtube channel i need footage i mean i appreciate that you're allowed to take photos i also appreciate being in pictures but that's okay well tough shit to you madam and, and tough fuck shit to you mate I mean, so <laughs> go and tell someone else what to do in public mate seriously i appreciate that i'm just kindly asking to you I let me kindly ask you to fuck off and leave me alone <laughs> <laughs> who is randy don't bring anyone mother to this psycho no mom in the fuck is there well welcome welcome <laughs> to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. No, 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 no. Kindly fuck off. And yeah. You know what I like about this dialogue is that I feel like that's my inner dialogue mm -hmm. with people, but then I change it to something polite and civilized. Of course, that's what everybody does. Yeah. yeah. Is that what everybody does? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck your mother. And yeah. Like, kindly ask you to fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The guy's a psycho. I mean, you know what's funny is that <laughs> when you're like that, like this guy's clearly a, a crazy psychopath. Um, <laughs> And people are like, oh, because th they are normal. Mm -hmm. But he only is lucking out that he's not doing this to the wrong guy. Yeah, to another it, psychopath. Every day it's just a roll of the dice. Oh, let's see what I roll today, <laughs> right? 
And like you could say this to a golden glove boxer. Yeah. Who's like, what? <laughs> who's just like a bap and just cracks your fucking face. So, which happens. That happens in time. Yeah. When in a life. psycho meets another psycho. Yeah. Or just somebody that you can't do that. You can't disrespect can't, certain can't people. Mess with. Yeah. You know, last night you were watching uh, a murder show and yeah. I was drifting off to sleep and I caught, I caught snippets of the content and it was like, yep. Evil exists in the world, but evil is done by people. Yeah, and it was about how psychos are just amongst us all the time. That's right. I'm watching uh, Worst Roommate Ever on Netflix. Have you watched that? Oof! It is a series of stories, essentially of people just rolling the dice with roommates. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes your roommate turns out to be a fucking killer, you know? But don't they say things like that? Like they show that they're a little off kilter um, in moments? And almost all these people have impulsive, angry reactions. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. You'll see it. Uh, and it's just, it's usually what triggers it. So like one of these guys here, uh, that Yosef Cutter, I think, Qatar. I the middle guy? Yeah, so he, like a lot of psychos... Um, is very charming mm -hmm. and um, charismatic and doesn't like does was triggered by you not liking him right so somebody who was like oh, i don't really and he was like what and then being called out a lot of people like this are fine until somebody is puts their you know shit together and goes like no. I'm, i think this I, and basically calls out the truth and then the person gets and they extremely get all, and upset. then they kill the they kill that sometimes person. i mean in this i mean these are these were all different uh, stories. I don't know if I want to give it away for people who want to watch it, but um, everybody got violent for different reasons. The old lady even? Yeah. Wow, it's rare when an old lady does stuff. She killed the most people. No. Yes. Well, now I got, can we watch her episode tonight? Sure, it's episode one. Dude, she kind of looks like my mom in that picture down there with her glasses on and the red lip. Yeah. Yeah. Or am I wrong? Maybe it's episode two. I forget now. Um, but- it was uh, it was fascinating. Her story is fascinating. You know, one of the things I'll tell you about her, that without giving away the whole story, she attempted and and did look older on purpose. <gasps> She's not as old as she appears to be. That's sneaky. Because she would find it easier to manipulate being an old lady definitely so she's like 30 there no but she's like 50 and everyone thought she was like 78 oh, you know? just because of how you dress yeah isn't that funny i was looking at pictures of women handsome ladies my age uh -huh. like if you google <laughs> a 40 year old woman or 45 year old woman in like the 1960s like google that like 40 year old women in 1960 or 1950 they look so much older than oh yeah yeah we all do now yes. like it, and it it really is your manner of dressing and yeah, look at those old broads. Like that those women are younger than me. That's 40. Those are all 40? Those are 40. Look, then and now. That this is what I saw. Exactly. No, they look what like I saw. A, a fucking pack of wolves right there, right? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I know they look like shit, right? They really do. It looks like the dog park. It looks like you're in the <laughs> The Kennel Club. Yeah. It's like <laughs> dog pound yeah yeah this is what people look like and they're my age and i guess it's like yeah you just look like Ooh. you're sad and depressed and you do your hair bad so or, like that's just know. life then though right life is like that <sighs> i don't know what maybe you know obviously they didn't have like fillers and botox and shit Definitely, not. probably like i mean makeup but also they didn't have as as much knowledge about what healthy is yeah you know what i mean like yeah yeah what you should be eating drinking exercising like all, all those things that everybody kind of <laughs> not everybody does it but you know what's going to make you look better and feel better yeah and like that wasn't even people no, didn't have any they idea. told you to smoke while yeah. you were pregnant back then so that you yes. would have lighter babies lower yeah. birth weight yep and like people just drank and smoke that like all day I think. are you pregnant you gotta start smoking more yeah <laughs> I wish. yeah yeah. so great um also don't forget if you have not yet i'm telling you we've had every comedian you know most of them at some point either had them on the podcast interacted with them i would put danny brown in as funny as the funniest comedian oh i've God. ever hung out with and we get to produce his podcast now which is i'm telling you dude that guy makes me laugh <laughs> me harder too. than anybody and his podcast is, drops every Tuesday. Uh, it comes on. It's on the YMH YouTube channel. 
Um, you can download and listen to it anywhere you listen to podcasts. Rate, review, and subscribe, please. Uh, tell your friends about it. We want people to know about this show. And I want him to do it forever because mm, he so just funny. is so fucking funny. Even his laugh, just his laugh. I know. But makes his observations me so are happy. Just yeah. So there, I've told him, I'm like, you make like, com like comedy. Yep. Like, uh, like a experience, a veteran comic level yep. observations. Yeah. Yeah. He's hilarious. So funny. His brain is amazing. Yeah. Such a funny dude. Amazing. Listen, life can be overwhelming and many people are burned out without even knowing it. Symptoms can include lack of motivation, feeling helpless or trapped, detachment, fatigue, and more. Uh, it's burnout, dude. And we've all been there and you have to take care of yourself. It's the only way you can take care of other people. We associate burnout with work, but that's not the only cause. Any of our roles in life can lead us to feel burned out. And BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you to prioritize yourself. Talking with someone can help you figure out what's causing stress in your life. BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist so you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Your mom's house listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash mom's house. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash mom's house. You guys know I love the break in protection that my Simply Safe home security systems gives me, but it's not always outside forces that you need Simply Safe's protection from. A few months ago, a Simply Safe customer fell asleep with food still in the oven. This could have led to thousands of dollars in damages to his kitchen, home, or worse. Luckily, he had a comprehensive Simply Safe system equipped with everything to prevent break ins and smoke detectors to sniff out. Fires. After waking up to the alarm, he got a call from Simply Safe Professional Monitoring. He believes Simply Safe saved his life that night. I know people here in our staff use Simply Safe and rave about it. They love the protection it provides them. Protecting people when their guard is down is just one of the reasons more than 4 million people use and love Simply Safe. You can customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes at simplysafe.com slash your mom. Go today and claim a free indoor security camera plus 20% off with interactive monitoring. Go to simplysafe.com slash your mom. Um, we haven't done, we did do the intro. Sorry, I'm on drugs. Yeah. I'm so, you know what? I'm so fucking cloudy because i got turned up this weekend yeah you got turned because uh, you uh as usual you turned a work weekend uh where you're doing stand-up into a bauhaus weekend i sure did travel to see bauhaus i'm back again i'm routing all my touring God. uh agent G just called me before the show and he's like i got you tickets to brooklyn you're gonna do the bell house on the september 7th Next so day. shout out, and then you're going to do... Bro Bounce. So anyway, but here's what I did, and it was so rad. Are they playing the next day? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in Brooklyn on September 8th. The, Same venue? As me? No. No. Are they, probably doing, are they doing Kings? I think so, yeah. 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 So any hoodles, um, the cool part is that I got to kick it with the Lightning Crew, the original Amazing. goths, who I, as a 14-year-old, was gothic with, and now that we're all middle-aged adults with kids and lives and jobs... And it was so fun. And it really made me <clears throat> appreciate old friends and really made me realize how forgiving I am of old friends. Like if one of them were to be like, dude, I haven't paid my taxes in 20 years. I'd be like, dude, that's fucking stupid. And I'd laugh. But if anybody now, like somebody I just met told me that, I'd be like, get the fuck out of here, you yeah. degenerate piece of shit. Yeah. But because I grew up with them, I know it's like they have carte blanche, they licensed ill. It's it's so weird. It's part of like the human condition and mind. Yeah. Of, about how you, you know, like accept and and how you reject people, and it's really just based on your affection and proximity and time with them. <laughs> and it's the same thing. I know with punishment. Yeah. It's the same thing. So I read this thing one time about. I think it was somebody who was in prison for something. And they they were saying, you know, I forget what crime they did. It was like a robbery or something. And they, they made the observation that uh, when somebody you know does something terrible, like you're close to, like yeah. your, your child, your, your, your sibling, your parent, something, you go, take, give them another chance. Yeah. Give them another chance because I know this person 
and they're not that. Yeah, and like just, you know them, but you also know them. Yeah, like yeah. you take it take it easy on them mm-hmm. because they deserve it, and we all make, and you, you're extremely compassionate. And when somebody you don't know does that same thing, you go throw the fucking book at them. Right, totally make this person pay. Yeah, you know, make them pay, and that's what they deserve. They deserve harsh punishment. I know, but if I love them, they don't deserve harsh. Punishment. <laughs> that's so true. You know? But you know. But but that goes with anything with like anything business yeah. or you don't you always want to help people you like yeah right that's so important to be like I was just thinking about that like raising kids yeah um, let me write this down first before I forget my thought uh, when you're raising children I was thinking to myself is it necessarily getting good grades that's going to make you successful in life or is it you know whatever the things you're supposed to do extracurriculars and getting into Harvard like. No, I think the most important thing is to be personable and to be likable and to get along with people. And I think it's a fucking crime to be boring. I feel yeah. like like to me, the biggest crime is to be given the gift of life and be a boring motherfucker. Like, is there anything worse yeah. than being at dinner with someone who's a fucking zilch? No, it's the fucking worst. Yeah, and I don't yeah. care what you are. If you're yeah. entertaining and you're interesting and you're full of life, like, doesn't that Just count for so a, much an more? opinion on something. Something, bro. I was thinking about the worst dates that I ever went on. <laughs> and what it was. Here we go. <laughs> no, what it was was, was like, yeah. you know, what do you think? And so oh, like, my I don't God. Know. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. What do you, what do you want to do? When you're like, <sighs> well, what do you like? What's your favorite thing? I don't know. Like the the whole like I don't I don't have a thought about anything. I know it's 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 a crime. Yeah, and you're like, what have you been doing for the years you've been yeah. on Earth? Like like first of all, the 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 chance of you existing is like one in a billion, right? You yeah. exist. That's a miracle. And then you're just gonna piss that away by being a dullard like Mm. you fucking cunt and then another thing i was thinking of too is like why is it that like your childhood friends and i say child like your teen friends yeah like because you're forming your sense of humors at the same time like you you guys grow your brains together yeah like do like these these fools can say shit and i'll just i'll like oh my god like it it just brings back 30 years of laughing yeah it's just like compounded you know (laughs) it's like when i saw yeah i saw justin a few weeks ago he's like you look good and i was like thanks thanks he's like you've been lifting and i was like yeah yeah we've been working out a lot on the road he goes yeah you got great symmetry man and I was like, what? that's just the only thing to say he's like he's like you look at the symmetry like your shoulders <laughs> it's just something that is so uh. like him to pick like a like a he always like is married to a word or a phrase yeah. for like a few months <laughs> and then it goes away. But I was like, I had to call my other friends. I was like, he said I had great symmetry. Yeah, it's such a funny word. Like <laughs> who does that? Like, Nobody says that to you. Symmetry. Check out your symmetry. You say that to like bodybuilders, you know. <laughs> I know. Even seeing Shawnee, who I've grown up with since we were like 14. Uh-huh. And the minute I see her, we slip back into Valley Girl talk. And it's all like, dude, yeah, bro, dude, I know, bro, bro yeah, homie, bro, yeah. dude. I was all like, fucking what? And I just laugh listening to her talk. Yeah. Like, we, we roll into Valley Girl speak, but yeah. any hoodles, it did make me realize too, the importance of just like having fun, especially yeah. when you're a grown ass adult and you got two little kids and like- You gotta, you gotta make time for fun. Crippling responsibility. You know what is fun? God damn. Is like showing up to um, like a working film set and then filming <laughs> them and then- uh, That's a different kind and of And when fun. they're polite, you tell them to go fuck themselves. Okay, it's very aggressive, there's no need to be like that. Hey, who came up to who here? Hey. Who stood within one meter of me? Could you please stand back, please? Social distancing. You're not even wearing your mask properly. Because I didn't go up to people though, did I? You did. I so, fuck off. Ooh. Thank you, young man. Problem, there is no problem. Why are you coming up to me now? I'm stood on a public street. I'm interested in video. This is all video, audio equipment. Fuck you both. Thank you. <laughs> fed, fed smoker vibes. Guess what? What? There's not only is there more, but we've seen them before. What? Yeah, yeah. Here, check them out. Away from crew, please. Is that okay? Dude, fuck off. Dude, seriously, Can you fuck step off. Back to me, mate, that okay? don't come with it. You're, you're 50 centimeters away from me. Can fuck off. Dude, okay. get the fuck out of my face. Mate, I'm not in your face. Can you please step back away from the crew? It's two meters. Dude, what's your shoe? Dude, don't come within two meters of me. I'm Thank exactly you. Who you are, mate. Sir, can I, can I just say, the whole crew. Dude, you've tested. just touched me. Please, please don't. You, you have. Tested, you're coming into Dude, am I stood on the public street? You are, but like. So, fuck off and stop telling me what to do. How's that? 
No one's making a scene except you guys. I'm just going to be here quietly collecting some footage from my YouTube channel. Leave me alone. Yes, shh. For fuck's sake. <laughs> That's fully insane. Why does it sound so much classier with that accent? It just does. Yeah. It does. For fuck's sake. Fuck yeah. off. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's so good. It's so yeah. sexy. Right? Good yeah. Are you okay? You seem like you're very stressed out. Why? Are you, are you a psychotherapist? Are you no, here? I'm, I, just, I'm just seeing if you're all right because you are kind of being quite aggressive there. Hey, listen, listen. If you think I've broken any laws, call the police on me. Otherwise, shut up. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> we're, just, we're just trying to have a conversation with you. Well, I'm trying to not have a conversation with you. Is it not clear by the times I've told you to fuck off? <laughs> okay. Right. You have a nice day. No, you don't have a nice day, you twat. <laughs> uh, yeah, why, why try to, like, analyze him? I agree. It's a, that's a bad move yeah. to be like, I see you're upset. Like, he's not a toddler. Yeah, he's yeah. a psycho. Yeah, he's a really angry dude. Yeah, call yeah. the call nine one one or whatever it is. What is it? In? I'm on a public, and then he's one who's gonna like you know tells you the, like most people just kind of go like, oh yeah, no problem. You don't want this film, but he's like, here are the rules, and I'm not breaking the rules. Like he's just <laughs> looking for conflict, looking for a fight, like a toddler. Yeah, yeah. This I'm is where you know him from. Large here. You you remember this? The central foundations, the <laughs> emergency staircase shaft and concrete. Mm -hmm. Always nice to see. Hello, mate. How are you? Right. I'm just getting a shot of the, from my YouTube channel of the construction. Make it quick. Why? Why make it quick? Why are you telling me what to do? He's what friendly. What do you mean I'm here. not allowed to do it? In there, tell your friends what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I'm not telling you. I said it's a construction site. You haven't got the right to be using your cameras to film it. You can't. You can't I, mean, I, I don't know who you yeah. are. Yeah. Why are you calling me a criminal? Because you have got a camera recording a construction site. Is it because site. I'm an Arab? You're calling me a criminal. Are you being racist? <laughs> Really? I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> Best response ever. Yeah. Either you're going to let me do what I'm doing no, I'm or gonna you're going to do it. You or you're going to try and stop me. Or gonna, you're going to try gonna and stop me. You back off then. Cuz you might be a criminal. I don't know who you are. That's it. I'm telling you now. My name's Charlie. I'm an I Arab. I don't care. You might be anybody. Charlie the Arab. I don't care. Charlie the Arab. I don't care. So Dude. I don't know you. You've got no idea with you. You're recording the construction site. They've got tools here, power tools and everything. You might be coming here tonight to, to steal. Who knows? I'm not a gypsy. I'm not going to steal the stuff, man. <laughs> it's our favorite group. This is a great, great clip. This, yeah. this clip has everything. Yeah. It's got, I love his braids. They're so um, Oh, and full. then, that's right. Then he leaves this and then he like harasses another guy. Why have you got weird colored hair? Remember? Because I want to. What's wrong with your natural hair, dude? Well, I want to have fun with construction guys, so what the fuck's your problem? He doesn't need to fight for him, boy. He's got a fucking job to do. So let Did do you think job. that big construction guy was in any worry that he needed some sort of weird, hyper lefty, bloody poison <laughs> dart frog coloration poison boy to tell me to so fuck weird. off? So weird. Did I tell you to fuck off? Yes. I never use those words. You're putting words in my mouth now. Anyway, you're going falsetto because you're panicking. What? Yeah, he's a, he loves. Can I ask you a question? Are you a homosexual? <laughs> a pansexual, if you So do you have sex with boys? Huh? Do you have sex with boys? Why is he uh, sorry, men. Mike? Do you have sex with males? Yeah. Yeah, it shows. Bye. See ya. <gasps> cool. Brilliant. <laughs> cool. Brilliant. Oh, I want to see what he looks like. I he's wonder. Charlie the Arab. Charlie the Arab. Yeah. Yeah. What a cool. What good work he's doing. Well, he's Man doing. On the street he's stuff. doing. <laughs> He has, like, the thing about him. He's doing his own thing. Is he has a good relationship with the whole community. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Construction guys that are black. Yeah. Um, oh, is that him? Oh, there he is. Yeah, this is Charlie the Arab. Oh, he's in the Telegraph. So there was a, there's an article about him? The 9-11 conspiracy theorist who changed his mind. Oh. Charlie has been arrested. Oh. Uh, that's what it says there. Charlie, okay. the, the left side, second down. Oh, sorry, to the left there. Has been arrested. I wonder when that took place. Hmm. So he likes to get into some shit. He's a menace. Yeah. That's who likes to get it the most, these menaces. And see, he's kind of, it looks like he's kind of a big guy. So maybe that's why he's always, you know, comfortable going up to people. He looks like he's kind of a big dude. Um, <sighs> hit the, uh, the, the arrest link, though. The one that was uh, said he was arrested. Where... How long ago was that? 
<laughs> Update. <laughs> What does it say? The UK is following Doesn't this guy. Give a day. Make it bigger. Uh, okay. About an hour ago, we wrote this blog about police were following him and trying to stop him from attending the royal wedding. Oh, this is a while <gasps> oh. ago. Oh, that's 2011, man. Whoopsie. Uh, we see the message from his girlfriend. Oh, he has a girlfriend. Jeez. Uh, Charlie was arrested from his own home today on an absurdly concocted free speech pre-crime conspiracy to make nuisance. <laughs> That is what he is. He's a yeah. nuisance. That's a great word. Yeah. Wow. Well. Conspiracy to make nuisance. I love how the Brits phrase That is a very things. British, yeah. Conspiracy to make nuisance. You're it's so polite. To the clinker. <laughs> conspiracy to make, <laughs> to make nuisance. nuisance. You've been a very naughty boy. Yes. Oh, are you stoked about the new Top Gun movie? Maverick. I mean, I feel like they shot it like four years. I've been hearing about this movie forever. Is it out now? It's gonna come out soon. I thought it's still not out yet. I thought it was already out. I'm. I want to see this. I'm pumped, dude. You want to see it? I'm ready to get into the danger zone. No, oh, it's out. <gasps> bro, let's it's go out. see it, homie. Damn. To the dang. Dude, how pumped did you get when you were a kid? I saw this movie in the theater like five times that summer. Yeah. Did you see it in the theater? I did. I just thought that. Um, Look at him. Iceman was so cool. That's right, Iceman. I was like, fuck it. I am dangerous. Bad. You know, when you're a kid, you're like, Iceman? Iceman. It's just tight. Goose. Yeah. And who else? Maverick. And what's his name again? Iceman. What's Iceman's name? Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer. Yeah. Oh my yeah. God. What a dream boat. Yeah. Oh, it's dream. With his big fucking teeth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And he had a cool spike. Yeah. yeah. Wait, Google that. Let's see that. Remember the volleyball scene? Which oh, was yeah. so gay and like hadn't, it was just because they were all super hot and the, the director was like, let's just see these. Yeah. Look at them. Ugh. Oh, ugh, look at the now. That's terrifying. Well, Nature is a cruel bitch, isn't she? Well, it's, he had cancer. I mean. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. I didn't know that. Yeah. You, you don't know that he can't speak anymore? You don't know that? I didn't know that. Yeah, I mean, he speaks with like a voice oh, box I, thing. Is he, he's not in the movie then, is he? Nah, probably not. <laughs> like, what could they cast him as, you know? He's like, I'm their new instructor. <laughs> Wait, remember the instructor? Even he was hot. The older guy with the beard. I don't remember. Come on. I don't remember. Have you even been in the danger zone? <laughs> there he is. That guy? Yeah. That's a hot guy to you? I mean, when I was a kid, when I was a little girl, I was like, that guy's like a grown up and he's like pretty attractive. I like his mustache. <laughs> what? Yeah. You don't think he's a cutie? No. They're all cuties. He just looks like like a fucking, like an overnight shift cop. <laughs> like, I thought he was you know? cute. I thought they're all good. Now, you want to really... You want to really grab your barf bag. How about that bald guy? He's pretty hot, huh? No, I didn't like him, but I liked how mean he was. And he was like, you can't fly like that, Maverick. He was He's like yeah. that guy in the control tower. You know who I like? Uh, Google Kelly McGillis now, though. Remember the hottie, Kelly McGillis? Uh-huh. Have you seen her now? No. Go ahead. Does she look like a Victoria's Secret model? <laughs> no. Oh. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The movie was fucking 30 years ago. And she's a lesbian now. That's she probably was then too. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the deal, man. Is that in my child brain? Yeah. Like I'm just saying, as a kid, I watched this movie and like I feel very disillusioned now. About what? Just like she didn't even like Maverick. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's upsetting. It's upsetting to you. She was hot. <laughs> she was super hot. Super. Um. The uh, what's it called? That that Tarantino scene where he breaks down Top Gun as being so gay. That's the best. I don't know what you're talking about. From which movie is it? Um, go to YouTube. Type in Tarantino. Just the volleyball scene? Yeah. He talk, well, he talks about the whole movie. Tarantino, Top Gun. <laughs> Such a good movie, though. It's, uh, yeah. The music was great. One. You don't remember this? 
I don't remember. This was from. Uh, What's the film about? What's it really about? What genre does it hit? What, what like it? It's like a, like the spine. The spine. Yeah, like yeah. one sentence. Like no, one I don't fucking boy meets girl. I don't give a shit about that. Fuck boy meets girl. Fuck motorcycle movie. No, what is really being seen? Sleep said? with me. What's really being seen? That's what you're talking about. Because the whole idea, man, is subversion. <laughs> you want subversion on a massive level. You know what one of the greatest fucking scripts ever written in the history of Hollywood is? What? Top Gun. Oh, come on. Top Gun is fucking great. What is Top Gun? You think it's a story about a bunch of fighter pilots? Yeah, it's about a bunch of guys waving their dicks around. It is a story about a man's struggle with his own homosexuality. <laughs> That's it. That is what Top Gun is Listen. about. Listen. Listen. Oh, man. You've got Maverick. All right. He's on the edge, man. He's right on the fucking line. All right. And you've got Iceman and all his crew. Right. They're gay. And they are. They represent the gay man. Right. All right. And they're saying, go. Go the gay way. Go the gay way. He could go both ways. What about Kelly McGillis? Right? Kelly McGillis, she's, she's, she's heterosexuality. She's saying, no, 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 no. Go the normal way. Play by the rules. Go the normal way. And they're saying, no, go the gay way. Be the gay way. Go for the gay way. All right? That is what's going on throughout that whole movie. He goes to her house, right? All right? It looks like they're going to have sex. You know, they're just kind of sitting back. He's taking a shower and everything. They don't have sex. He gets on the motorcycle, drives away. She's like, what the fuck? What the fuck is going on here? Right. Next scene. Next scene you see her, she's in the elevator, she is dressed like a guy. She's got the, the cap on, she's got the aviator class, she's wearing the same jacket that the Iceman wears. She is, okay, this is how I gotta get this guy. This guy's going towards the gateway. So I gotta bring him back, I gotta bring him back from the gateway. So I'm gonna do that through subterfuge, I'm gonna dress like a man, all right? That is how she, she, she approaches it. Right. Okay, when they fight the medics at the end, all right, because he has passed over into the gateway. They are this gay, fighting, fucking force, all right? And they're beating the Russians, the gays are beating the Russians, all right? And it's over, and they fucking land, and Iceman's been trying to get Maverick the entire time. Finally, he's got him, all right? And what is the last fucking line that they have together? They're all hugging and kissing and happy with each other, and Ice comes up to Maverick, and he says, man, man you can ride my tail! It is yeah. time! And what does Maverick say? Maverick, you can ride my sword fight! Sword fight! Sword fight! Yeah. It's a great breakdown. Wow, yeah. but he does have a point. There's there's a lot of valid. Yeah. Uh, that's that's a lot of the messaging. I mean, and that went over. I think most people's heads, and now yeah. they see this, and they're like, "Oh, this is a it's pro homosexual propaganda." Most yeah. definitely, and most importantly, anti Russian propaganda, yes, yes, which yes. I really miss. Which I mean, could it be more appropriate now? That's what I'm saying. That's what we need. Bring it back. I like to see these anti Russian, anti communist sure. movies. It's a good time for it. We got to know. Everybody knows. You know the Ruskies. Are always up to all something. All bad. Yeah. They're always up to something. It goes Ruskies, Jays. <laughs> Gypsies. Gypsies. Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> and they're always fighting for. They're like this. Yeah. Hierarchy. You got to know. You just always go like, no, no, we're cool. But, you know. Yeah. We know. We know. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny, Gypsies. Nobody. Well, the thing is like... Nobody likes them. I know. And the thing is that they really aren't... They're never going to like plan a, a an overthrow of a government. You know, they're not going to plan no. a coup. Like, it's not like that. It's just like, where's my wallet? You know, like where's, uh, <laughs> you know... Yeah. What's, stuff why are all the windows broken in this place? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, it's so it's so confusing because um, the in, in Hungary, the best violinists, the best musicians... Oh, the two guys are also uh, yeah. the Gitanos are they're great um, entertainers in all parts yeah. of Europe. Yeah. Their music, their dancing, um, you know. But they're simultaneously hated culturally. Yeah. It's yeah. like this weird thing in Hungary. Yeah, it's like we like. love what you do, but just <laughs> do it over there. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Do your little tap thing. Do gorgers. It right over there. Yeah. yeah, gorgers. Remember that show? I was so into the Gypsy show. My yeah. big fat gypsy wedding. Yes, and I yes. was like, why do you guys, and they're all so insistent on preserving their culture. And it's like, what what is this culture that we're so into preserving? You guys all live in trailers. You get mm -hmm. married at 16. You're all, no education. Um, I'm going to have the you're biggest wedding ever. You're all alcoholics. And the women age so poorly. By the time they're 30, they look like they're 80. Yeah. Like, what is this shit culture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a shitty culture. It really is. It just is. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've seen enough episodes of my big fat American gypsy wedding to know. Yeah. yeah. I don't like them. They don't, they're not, they don't let the women go to school. How is that okay? 
I mean, that's, all they do is clean the house. That's kind of nice. <laughs> It is kind of nice. Well, they used to, so like, you I know. I mean, like a girl that's not like, oh, you know. Ideas. What about all these thoughts? But like the <laughs> place is clean. She puts out. Yeah. It's not the worst arrangement. Well, even back in um, the times of Bridgerton. Yeah. You know, you the, the upper classes, the men just wanted a broad that could like play the piano and be entertaining in conversation. So really? that's the only reason they'd educate a woman is to be entertaining oh, for the man. That's fantastic. I know. Yeah. Cause you really don't need much beyond that. I mean, I would I, love if I got home and you were like, the piano forte. And it was only things that I wanted to hear, you know, it's like my playlist. Yeah. Okay. So Bridgerton too is like the most, um, diverse cast it's one of those like forced inclusion casts where you're like they're, they've hit every they've checked every box yeah i mean there's like the heavy set chick the indian family they're we don't know what we are fam like everybody it's it's all see look it's like one of everybody like yeah. i don't know does that always i mean one of everybody is the new standard yeah for everything like anything in marketing anything in advertising anything in entertainment unless the story is so specific like you're like this is a japanese war story <laughs> right you know like if it's if it's not that then they're like you gotta mix it up more yeah. i mean the, <laughs> the fucking you know the inclusion thing is now it it took over the sports illustrated swimsuit i'm so glad we're cover. talking about this can we bring do you know that up? like do i do i si this has been basically every american boy's introduction into their dick getting hard mm -hmm. for 30 some years to jack mag yeah it's, it's how you first do it right it's before porno it's like the oh, jesus christ <laughs> and <laughs> guys look at my twitter if you want to see my thoughts on this check. it's like you see like i don't want to look at it i'm so upset it, it was always actually too it was the most beautiful women yeah and it was, and there was variety. I mean, it was, there were- Blondes, brunettes. Blondes, brunettes. <laughs> no, but there were black women, there were uh, Caribbean women, Indian women, Asian, like there's been variety, right? But, but just like stunning, stunning women, right? For years. I mean, this was like, the introduction to the, this was like, you know, Christy Brinkley, right? Yeah. Uh, Kathy Ireland. Uh, yes. Uh, Ni Naomi Campbell. Campbell. Um, El McPherson, like all these, like just stunners, yeah, Ten, like uh, supermodels, and then now dimes only, yeah. <laughs> the, the newest thing is you got this <sighs> this girl with like a pretty face and like I don't know my body, and then <laughs> I mean she looks like a fucking long snapper from the neck down. What's a long and, <laughs> like a fucking it's sports? It's like in football, the guy that snaps the ball back. Um, what is she, like two and a quarter? Right? So I don't know. So like, and then they're like, this is the cover of the suit. So you're like, okay, I guess. Man, I have so many feelings. That's that's over. And then and then is that Elon Musk's yeah. mother is Here, now? So, so here's the thing. She, was a nut she is a nutritionist. And I have to say, she looks better than me. So I, I feel like I can't. But here's the real question. But that just shows you like. It's more about like the shift from, hey, you know, we, this used to be this thing of like super hot chicks. Yeah. That's not okay. It's, not, <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. not just about super hot chicks, guys. There's this girl that needs to lose about 60 pounds. <laughs> and here's a 74-year-old woman. Yeah. So uh, enjoy your new swimsuit. Issue. <laughs> like, All right, I guess. Well, and isn't the point to sell Sports Illustrated Magazine. I guess. So, so hold on. So I agree. Look, there's a, there's a fraction of the population that yeah, is like into old heavy women set. and heavy set women. That's true. Sure. Yes. But if you true. want to sell a lot of magazines, yeah. my mind always goes to, is this what the majority of men? Right. There is a whole thing that majority, you know, we, I don't know why we discount what majority means. I, this is what I'm saying. Like, and I get that it's inclusive. You're trying to tell right? me most men, most are like, I mean, is she 230 pounds? That'd be cool. Like, is that. That's what most guys well, are thinking. Well, and, and by the way, these little piggies, these little, <laughs> these uh, these piglet models, they get mad whenever we talk about their <laughs> their fat ass modeling careers, 
And they were like, well, you're fat too. Yeah, I'm a comedian, you fat fucking fuck. <laughs> so you can be that. But no one wants to see your big fat ass on the cover of a magazine or endorsing products because you're fucking gross. <laughs> all right? Go back to your barn and fucking roll around with the other pigs. This is a job for the genetically gifted, mm -hmm. not for your big fat ass. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at Kim Kardashian. Look how fucking hot that is. That's a banging cover. But look at the swimsuit they gave her, too. Look, look. And also, she's pretty. The heavy girl. Go back to the heavy girl. But like... Yeah, she's got a pretty face. She's like, dude, I'm not saying she's unattractive. I'm saying, look at no, the No, if you saw her at the local pool, you'd be like, hey, if that girl dropped 40 pounds, she'd be pretty hot. She's got a pretty face. Exactly. Yeah. But the swimsuit they gave her, yo, that doesn't look good on anybody. Like, that, no, it does. that body. It does. It looks good on McPherson. Christy Turlington, <laughs> Kathy Ireland, Elle McPherson, Naomi Campbell. That's a rough suit, though. I will say, in her defense, to pull that off. Nobody looks good in the anchor, yeah. sweetie. That's and tough. And who is this being done for? This is done Nobody. so that Sports Illustrated gets to go, we did a I know. nice thing, didn't we? Aren't we? Charity case. Aren't we good? It's not men who and are then, snapping this up. No, there, there are men, about like 37 10. of them yeah. in the United States. <laughs> I, know. I know. I So I tweeted about ridiculous. this. If you guys want to look at my Twitter on Christina P., I started a furor. And it was like the dumbest, most innocuous... Oh, you're going to bring it up? Okay. Um, <laughs> it's like the stupidest thing. I was just I, I was just making fun of her. Mm -hmm. I was like, supermodel, more like supper model. And then <laughs> Tom was with me and added the emojis of a hamburger, a taco, and a hot dog. <laughs> this started a real fury. I mean, 792 comments, mm. retweets, 89. I mean, 5,000 people liked it. Yeah. Anyway, people are on my side and I have a bit about I hate fat models. I'm not down with downs models like it's all. <laughs> but it's so stupid. It's like you guys are just doing this to try to get eyeballs on your product. Uh, and it's not right. Yeah, I know. It's so dumb. There's also this thing uh, that people are like, stop commenting on people's bodies. That's a big thing now. Oh, shut Why? The fuck up. <laughs> Why? Well, especially if you're going to pose in a bikini or a bathing right, right. suit. Like, That's the whole point. You're putting your body out there it's open right. to comment it is no different honestly because right. this is like this brings up when people like get mad about this stuff like we put out um stand up we yeah. put out podcasts yeah. right we put them out if you put it out you have to be open to the criticism that's part of the gig you know people tell us all the time you're the worst you're a piece of shit you suck you're a bad person you're not funny i wish you would. and you're like yeah but i <laughs> does it ever hurt yeah especially at the beginning when you first hear yeah. it you're like whoa yeah and then you get used to it and then you realize that this uh, is part of the job oh yeah and if your big fat ass mm. takes pictures in bikinis or lingerie mm. then your big fat ass gets to get called a big fat ass mm -hmm. okay now, if you don't want to be called that, either don't take the pictures or fucking drop 120 pounds, mm -hmm. which is what it looks like you need to drop on the cover of this Well, thing. it's ridiculous, too. Like, yeah, I'm a plus-size model, and then when I model and then, take photos, yeah. then and I everyone complain. Should, everyone should tell me yeah. how great I look. No, you fucking delusional. No, that's all. That's, that's why you're goes. a big, fat fuck now. Mm -hmm. It's because no one told you how fat you are. <laughs> well, and look, and also, too, listen, Sports, Sports Illustrated always put healthy-looking women on. So all these models that you named were yeah. quite healthy looking they yeah. never put on the anorexics no they, so, they so, put on models who you, you got probably ate well did yoga yeah they were healthy paid so that, attention to so what that's they were. the brand is healthy so if you're putting someone who's overweight and don't even fucking tell me that being overweight is yeah. healthy it is not healthy there's no way just put sports illustrated look she's swimsuit swimsuit edition covers and we'll pull up the covers like over the years okay look beautiful look at her look at tyra tyra banks, tyra banks. jesus christ stunning she's not a size two no she's healthy very healthy i would like to gorgeous camille get that food. God, i don't know who this is caustic can yeah. we turn the ac my, my hands are frozen can someone make no, it no, warmer no, no, in no. here i'm We're dying fine. i'm sweating no, it's good i have a cold sweat i feel like i have a fever who's that right there jesus christ who's that I don't know, but she's perfect. Fuck. 
Olivia Culpo. Yep. Oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Oh, come on. That old dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think, can I tell you what I think the problem in thinking is and what? this victim culture? Jesus Christ. Can, I t- can, I, can you listen to my point? No. And stop looking at the swimsuit edition for one minute? No. No, can pull I, up pull up the new one and I'll snap back to you. Can I please? Okay, yeah. What were you saying? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, look at the look at the porker look at the porker in the water beneath. Look at that one. Yeah. Go down one. Oink oink. Look, oh no, she's not. <laughs> she just has big milkers. The pose is not good. Yeah. The pose is not good. No, she's a no, big No, I forgot mom. what I was gonna she, fuck. It. Oh, oh, the point is. Yeah. Just because somebody looks like Tyra Banks on the cover of uh, the cover of Sports Illustrated. Yeah. And she doesn't look like you. Does it mean that you're inferior to her? Like, you know what I'm saying? Why do you have to take it as a personal affront? I just look at, you what know what I look care? at as? That's not, that's not your lot in life. You don't that's get it. to look, that's accept right. that. That's what I'm saying. So, so Is that it is, I look at these amazing bodies and I'm saying on men as a gift. Like some of them I go, that's their gift. That's what they get. Yeah. They get those fucking abs yep. and they get this crazy physique and you go yep. like, and it's to be admired. There's nothing wrong with admiring it, right? Yeah. Kate but it's Upton, like dog, yeah. right? Ugh. And then I know you don't like skinny blondes, grody. Ugh. Look at those perfect perky titties. Ugh. I mean, it's there's there's no, a reason why no cellulite. There's a reason why everybody turns their head when they see a woman like that in real life. It's it's because that it is the desired beauty standard. Like it is it's special. That it's special. Yeah. It's unique. It doesn't happen a lot. Oh, I remember that that cover. Yeah. But the problem is now that You they, know, if you combine the three of them, they weigh about half of the new swim side <laughs> cover model is right. But that's the problem is that you're not allowed to have um an inspirational thing to uh, to want to attain anymore because everybody is special. Well, and the other thing it's like no, not the, everybody's here's the, special. Here's the other thing is like they go like, you know, celebrate whatever body type and like and and you know you should just tell she is beautiful like this uh 240 pound woman is beautiful and you're like yeah here's the thing about accepting that body type right yeah what you're also saying is like you know it's hard and it's a lot of work to not be this and you're like (laughs) yeah it's hard to achieve a lot of things and um (laughs) the things that are most desirable are usually not easy yeah. So yes, some people are born genetically gifted, without a doubt. They just are, and they can like some of them just eat what they want, and they they just look great. But for most people, this is an effort. Mm-hmm. It's an effort to try to maintain yeah. a healthy appearance. Well, even like, even those hot chicks, they have to exercise. Oh, they, yeah. Most of them, that's not just. They don't all eat a the donut. Time. They're not yeah. eating Krispy Kremes. Very rarely. They're not going to do that. Their whole there's, life there's is making the, themselves hotter. There's the anomalies that like they do. They're like I eat like great. shit. But that's not most people. Most people have to pay. So when you, I feel like when you go like celebrate, you know, being wildly obese, no. it's like mm, that's not really a thing to celebrate because it's not healthy. And what you're really saying is, I'm lazy. Mm-hmm. I'm lazy, and I'm. I think I should be uh, applauded and just accept. You know, fine if you want to be lazy and and sit around and not do anything. That's fine. But I don't think the rest of us should have to go like, and it looks great. And that's yeah. what. And that's my problem too. Is that we have to think this perverted way of right. like, no, no, this is awesome. Isn't it awesome that she's unhealthily no. overweight and isn't it beautiful? Like, no, personally, I don't think it is beautiful. No. I think that those skinny girls who work out and like Tyra Banks, I think she's beautiful yeah. personally. But but if you say that, you're a hateful piece of shit. Yeah, and I don't really think- like, This is not for me. It's not for me. I don't think you are. I think that the the real sickness here is in the way that people spin it. It's yeah. not even like there's there's reality and there's like delusion and all these people that are pushing this thing of like oh my god oh this is what's great like they're delusional and they're they're firing people up about it but you walk down the street and you ask people what they find to be the of standard course. of beauty you're going to find like we said the majority traditional majority is going to say that the clearly beautiful woman is beautiful I know and that the other woman has a very pretty face and needs to lose weight yeah but everything is beautiful yeah. now. And when you take away that standard, if everyone is beautiful, then no one is beautiful. No, if, they're not. If everyone is a winner, then no one is a winner. You, you devalue any of the meaning. So what is beauty now? We're going to take that away. What is a woman now? Did you know that? Did you know that that's a question? What is a woman? Uh-huh. There's persons with periods and <laughs> men can have periods too. You remember that? For that I know. That I know. <laughs> I know. I know. And I know men can get pregnant. 
It just takes you reframing what you think of as a man. <laughs> you need to reframe <laughs> like, your entire mind. I mean, <laughs> who fucking... But that's what I'm saying. And, fat, and, and obese women are beautiful. You didn't know that? They're swimsuit models, Tom. You just have to reframe your whole way. Of <laughs> you have to live in the upside down where this shit makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's absurd. Nobody I know is like, this is you know, great. That's the thing is that also, about? how about no one talking about how offensive this is to the previous SI cover models who are like, hey, that used to mean something. Yeah. And you just devalued the whole fucking thing. Yeah. Like it used to be a compliment. And now yeah. you're like, Hey, are you SI swimsuit? Are you a cover model for for Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition? It's like, oh yeah, I'm an offensive lineman for the fucking <laughs> Colts. Yeah. But I would, but there were like WNBA players that were also on SI, and I'm like, well, if their bodies look athletic and are still attractive, sure, maybe yeah. that's. Yeah. But I think for them to be unhealthy yeah. is not a swimsuit model. So this Please. is a complete contradiction in terms. And I, by the way, I Gross. already know all the fatties are going to hit me up. Oh, you fat fucking models. <laughs> <laughs> I got hit up by them last time. They put their baked beans down for a minute and they were like, rub, 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 rub. Oh my God. <sighs> <laughs> Can I have to send Adav this TikTok? I want to play this on today's show. I'm yeah. sorry. Apropos this discussion, this was so good. Well, here's an update on uh, this lady. Person. For those on here that apparently haven't got the memo, I'm an elder trans queer revolutionary anarchist. Okay. okay? So my political affiliations and stance on things are going to be kind of fiery. Oh, really? FYI. Yeah, I've known this, this person for a long time. I've been following them. They're getting these tattoos removed off their face. Why? <laughs> they look good. Yeah. This person's. Um, mm -hmm. That's definitely someone who I would love to ask about the new swimsuit cover model. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> like, I love it. As an elder trans revolutionary anarchist. Yeah. Yeah, it's wild. It, cool. It's just I feel I feel like we're in a in, in the upside down. Yeah. Like what? Please. What the fuck are you talking about? You. you know what? I want to laugh. <laughs> mm -hmm. All day. Oh. <laughs> that was a good that was a good groan I'll give him that yeah what's wrong I'm just seeing our sons doing dumb shit like this and yeah it'll happen all right you want to see another one cool <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> how do you keep going how do you keep like how he is he still going notice there's no way he's a big truck maybe he doesn't maybe it's just right in the blind spot <clears throat> the wave you wouldn't be in panic like oh, uh, i think there's a full panic going on right now yeah yeah fuck I don't know. That looks pretty real. Can I take a picture? Real Definitely quick? real. Sure. Hold on. Just okay. keep rolling. I'll be quick. Okay. Okay. God, that's so gnarly. How was your pee? I pushed hard. Good. It was good. Now that there's another girl here at like Heather, yeah. I'm always nervous she's going to walk in because I don't close the door. I just I just run in there and I pee in with the door open. I'm like, Why don't you like just close it? I forget. I'm lazy. Okay. Bert's been shitting in there and there's a sign well, that's like, don't no, shit in I know. there. Now we try to tell him. Yeah. He can't shit in he there. He does not shit in there anymore. No, not anymore. Yeah, oh, God. But he did. And you should definitely close the door when you piss in there now. Okay. Heather doesn't seem to mind. I don't know that. She loves it. That's probably not true. <laughs> yeah. She's I would, like, hey, I would girl. Show her a, little, a little. Hey, girl. Room, a little respect. Okay. Oh, this one I want you to see apropos our. Just <laughs> and lower. One X. Okay, go. Start from the beginning. It's so good. <laughs> the fatness spectrum. Are you ready? This for is it? size 18 and lower. 1X or 2X? I'm a 4X, 5X. I'm a size 26, <laughs> sometimes 28. I am the super fat you say I'm speaking over. Okay, this is the fatness spectrum. A small fat is a size 18 and lower. 
One X or two X. I'm a four X, five X. I'm a size 26, sometimes 28. Uh, okay. I am the All super right. fat you say I'm speaking over. Super fat. Okay, this is the fat in a spectrum. Okay. A All small right. I got it. I got it. Infinifat is the highest you can be. And that one is, I can't read it, 60. Four and higher? Is that what that says? Uh, six X and higher, 34 <laughs> inch waist and higher, some toward six. That's infinifat. <laughs> like, listen, all this work it takes to categorize yourself, like, just put that into not being fat. Do you know what I mean? Like, just stop it. Don't start. And can I tell you why it upsets me? Mm. My stepmother, one time when she was aging and she was like, don't ever give up. Don't stop fighting the fight. Right. And that's that's what I feel like it's important to take care of. Yourself. I feel like I live by that. Yeah. No, like like you just you never I've never been like happy and like feel like great about health and fitness, but I've never given up. Totally. Yeah. You know? Don't give up. Yeah. Don't surrender to like Don't your surrender. lowest your lowest you know self. What? You see it too. It's it's a this is a real interesting age to be at now because you see people our age who already have given up. Yeah. And the real one is like, you see people like 10 years older and you're like, is yeah. that guy 70? And like, no, he's 53. And you're like. It's sad. And and even like people who do drugs over 50. That's a big one for you. Huh? Well, cause you're like, bro, you know, like you don't wake up at after 50. Like you I think can... that's the goal. <laughs> <laughs> but like, you can't, you can't do this to yourself. You can't like doing, you know, like speed balls and, isn't that like heroin and speed at the same time? Cocaine, right? So it's like up and down. Like how, That's like putting the foot on the gas and the brake at the same time. Like uh, what does that do to your body? Uh, opioids. Yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. What does Coke that feel like? Yeah. Is that Fucking like Red Bull and vodka? or nasal. <laughs> Fuck. Any, what's that like? What do, like people ask... <laughs> You've done this. Look at that first question. What do speedballs help with? Oh, this is like oh, okay. <laughs> actual speedballs yeah. for cardio. Okay. okay. Um, Mixing stimulants and opioids. I that mean, is tight. That's got to be the. What best. kind of a ride is that? It's got to be. <laughs> I mean, multiple people I've talked to have said that there's nothing as great as heroin. Yeah. And then, you know, I've had the medical equivalent a few times and it is it's fantastic it's really nice mm. um mixing that with cocaine i just i can't imagine how much like, fun that is yeah. oh yeah so you're chill but you're also pumped <laughs> I mean, like you're chill but you're very you're motivated like, uh, <laughs> what is that i don't know i don't know like your heart just stops because that right? hair on just makes you want to <laughs> yeah yeah so if you're feeling like that and coke i don't know it really is a down, like uh, the ultimate downer, right? An opioid yeah. is like a, and down. then the, a stimulant. Yeah, and your heart just must yeah. be like panicked. They're fighting each other. Okay, what do you, the Coke keeps you awake to enjoy the opiate? Maybe. Maybe. Because I do like feeling, I mean, when I've taken my oxys from my ankle, that was fun. Yeah. yeah. But I would yeah. not want to take Coke. I don't know. Yeah, but if somebody gave it to you, you'd probably be like, it's pretty cool. This is a pretty fun ride. Yeah. This is a pretty fun ride. Thanks. This is what happens on the speedball right Infinifat. here. Infinifat. There you go. Duh, dude, speedball. this is wild. This is speedball. Dang. Hi. Hello. Hello. Wow. How is that person? Okay. I don't know. I can't be right. God. Hi. The wave. Yeah, he fucking waved. I guess he's not panicked. No. I don't like that. Thank you. Can we see the next thing? That didn't make me happy at all. Okay. Come on. Oh, come on. <gasps> oh, God. God, God. I like you that. You like that one? Yeah, because I don't like those scooters. They're so dangerous. And I'm. this should be a PSA to all these kids who work here and go downtown Austin, get drunk and ride these. Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do yeah. it. It's bad. It's yeah. bad. That's what happens to you. Fuck, dude. Come on. <gasps> Damn. I like that his helmet Fuck. is on the bike on the scooter. Oh, oh shit, that's right. Yeah. He ate shit hard. Hard, dude. Yeah, that his was pretty cool. Face is in the side one. The... 
Oh, that's bad. He lost his teeth yeah. for sure. I love that. Ooh, yeah. fuck. You like that? Yeah. yeah. Those those scooters are bad news. I mean, I don't know how they're still in business. Those are huge liabilities, it, man. It is. All these drunks on there. Yeah. What? The scooters are fine. That guy was trying to hop stairs. No, no the scooters are not fine. Not fine. <laughs> They're I, definitely not. Can I tell no. you? Talk, talk to any emergency room yeah. doctor or chiropractor. They're like, this is keeping us in business. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's yes. nothing but. I mean, you're giving somebody who you don't know their their ability, like as a as a as a rider. Right. Um, you have any people just have zero training, zero expectation, a device that can send them 15 miles an hour. Like and just, on uneven road. Yeah. You hit like a rock. No, no idea what's coming. All they all that happens every day in these is people fall off concussions, broken clavicles, broken arms, broken ankle. Like they're just injury after injury on these. Of course, people can do them without that, but it is filling up emergency rooms all the time. Mm -hmm. But boy, are they fun. Mm. I, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure they're fun. But they're definitely leading to tons oh, of Oh, yeah. yeah. When I was 26, I used to ride a Razor scooter yeah. through my neighborhood. I would fucking jam on that thing, bro. Like, fly. One time, I just hit a rock, and I face-planted into the fucking pavement, just like this retard, and, like, <laughs> fucked up my elbow. My elbow, I still can't straighten out because I didn't put a cast on it because I was I too poor. Laugh. Yeah. I'm an idiot. So you know what this I comes get? from personal experience, I want to get a Vespa. Yeah, like, get the fuck out of here. What? Get the fuck your Vespa. Why? Are you serious? That's dangerous as shit too, isn't it? A scooter? I mean, it's a lot less dangerous than a motorcycle and it's pretty casual. There Come you go. On. Get the one with the cover on it so you don't fly out. That seems fun. Really? Yeah. Where are you going to ride? <laughs> That's the Vespa I want <laughs> you to get. I'm not getting that. I'm not now getting that. Now I know that. what to get you for Christmas. Right, go back. I'm go getting back. you that Vespa. Go back to the search. Yeah, like, uh, where's Vespa? To the right, Vespa Primavera. Yeah, 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 like Vespas. Yeah. Like a little Italian. You you learn Vespa, your toilet no. Italian and you get on your Vespa. Vespa Primavera, see on the list right there? Those. That'd be fucking fun to go get a coffee in one of those. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. I wear a little helmet. Beep, beep. Pretend I'm in Italia. Beep, beep. Are you still doing your toilet well, Italian? No, I hit day 60 yesterday. Dang. In a row. Yeah. That's awesome. But I need an Italian friend. I put a call out on uh, Instagram and Twitter for an Italian friend. I was like, there'll be yeah. lunches. We'll go out on the boat. Um, nice. There'll be meals. Nice. I got all jokey answers. No. People are like, I don't know Italian, but let's hang out. I was like, no, no. Well, fuck you. And I, I want you to be fluent, you know? Mm -hmm. You want to send your Italian resumes? <laughs> go ahead and send them to your mom's podcast at gmail.com. There's no house in the email name, your mom's podcast at Gmail. Tell me how you're a qualified, fluent Italian speaker that lives in the Austin area. Don't tell me that you'll commute here. You have to be around, all right? Yeah. We had an Italian exchange student. Did I ever tell you about this guy? No. Um, he was in the dorms, and one night he had a, a, an erotic dream, and he, <laughs> he washed his penis out in the sink and my friend walked in on him and he's like, what are you doing, bro? And he's like, I had the wet dream. I'm washing my penis. That was so funny. And I think about it like once a week. This was in week. college? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who walked in on him, a guy or a girl? Um, A guy. Oh, that's totally different. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and he wore like, he dressed like a total Italian. Like he rolled up this, his um, pant legs, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. two tight pants. Sure. And he rolled them. We were all like, yo, you got to like get your baggy jeans on, bro. Yeah. You're in America now, Jack. That's totally it. Yeah. And they, he totally dressed like a They are very foreign fashionable, exchange. though. Very, very, very. Yeah. He was really sweet. But once word got around that he was washing his dick in the sink, <laughs> kind of ruined his rep. Like he could not get laid after that. <laughs> we felt so bad for him. Look how fucking smooth these dudes look. Oh, yeah. That's what he looked like with the hat. He had the total hat. Oh, he had a hat too? Yeah. 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 Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. Italians. Italians. They're very fashionable. I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. When I was in uh, Milan, I mean, this was like a decade ago, but Jesus Christ. Like people going to work, it looks like a fashion show. You're like, oh so my God. Nice. Yeah. It is nice. It's nice a culture that does that. I know. I it's actually, it's, it. yeah. It's very, like, it makes you go, like, first of all, I'm going to go change. And um, yeah. It's like, uh, it's it's like art. It's like moving art, right? Like mm -hmm. you've seen people and you're like, oh, look at all the colors and mm -hmm. My dad always cuts. says that. Yeah. 
He's like American dress, like pig. Yeah. Wearing jeans all the time, jeans. I remember disgusting. when I studied in Madrid, um, one of the, the, I studied with an old, an old lady, right? I was, me and the other <laughs> Americans. And her son was about 20 years older than us. And he was like, I can always tell when, um, who's American here because they all dress like shit, you know? <laughs> and I was like, oh yeah? Yeah. And he's like, yeah, it's always like t-shirts and stuff. Yeah. And then he always had, you know, nothing like over the top, but like a, a nice collared shirt, a sweater, like it was in the winter time and yeah. just looked more distinguished. You know, it's and funny. He's like, you guys all dress like shit. We do. And my, uh, every relative Thanks, in Hungary would tell me that too. Like, you look like shit with your jeans. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, I was too pale. Yeah. It was like, why don't you get a tan? I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm goth. Yeah, yeah, I'm goth. Yeah. yeah, but um, you know what's funny in Austin? It's it's cool to like dress down here. So yeah. now I find myself getting fancier because I want to be right. counterculture. Sure. And in LA, it's the opposite. Like the more of a dirtbag you look, then people yeah. are like, you're cool. It's so funny how cities are. Yeah, I, I was like a lot of people. Different moments. I didn't know that. Different. In LA, um, when you like when I first got there in show business. Like yeah. nobody dresses nicely. Mm -mm. Nobody. No suits. No, and I thought a, I wore a suit to an interview, and they were like, "What's with the suit?" And I was like, "Ah, uh, it's an interview." And they were like, "Yeah, don't Dark. do that." I'm like, okay. Yeah, the more homeless you look, it means the more money you have. Yeah, it's so weird. Billionaires wear flip flops. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, T-shirts. Yeah. That was really nice. Thanks for doing that to the listeners. You got it. I think there's one we more. We do talks. Oh, you want to do a talk? Oh, yeah. I live for these, man. Okay. Infinifat. Super fat. <laughs> Who came up with these? Hello, everyone. Wicked author James Odden here. <laughs> Wanting to do a little experiment today. If you guys don't mind participating. Okay. Let's see how many Wiccans we actually have on this app. Um, <laughs> how about we do a little thing where if you're Wiccan, <laughs> you like the video or leave a comment. <laughs> Pass it along to your other wicked friends. That's we'll your get wicked it going friends, all though. Around this app, <laughs> and we'll see just exactly how many of us there are. I don't know. How many of us? Hundreds? Thousands? Wiccans. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands? Let's do it. Why not? <laughs> where is he reporting from? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably from where he writes his books. He's a wicked author. Oh, he's a wicked author. Yeah. I'm also. <laughs> A Wiccan author. Are you Wiccan author. It's nice to have a fellow author who's a Wiccan out there. Good to meet you, sir. Now, I saw this man and I immediately thought of you because you're always telling me when guys do this kind of stuff, like, I'm Wiccan, I'm whatever. It's just a ploy to get laid. It totally is. So, is he really Wiccan or is he using this as a way to get chicks to be like, I mean, I'm he Wiccan. thinks he might see, think he is, but it's, it's, it's so that a chick goes, What's that like? He's like, I can tell you all about it. Like, <laughs> and he, I'm so and see, spiritual. Because guys always want what a guy really wants with a woman. A guy wants uh, to, I mean, yes, wants to connect and all that stuff. But a guy loves to be an expert in something that mm. a woman is not. Right. And like if her curiosity is there, it's the best. Because then you're like, yeah. you have a girl fascinated by what you're saying. Yeah. Right. So like if he picks this absolutely insane lane as his, you know, he'll get <laughs> Some chick who is curious, and then he's like, that's not what a Wiccan would do. And then she'll, <laughs> he'll explain to her when to light the oils on fire. Yeah. You know? Because chicks are into Wicca. I must mm. say, as a 13-year-old, I was <coughs> really into witch witchcraft and, yeah. and you know, t tarot cards and runes. and Like, this is a very adolescent girl yeah. thing I'd to like be I'd like to into. move on. Okay. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> Oh, I guess you're not Wiccan. <laughs> Why are these hoes dancing in like little sluts on these uh, websites? More important than actually telling the truth about our government and our country. <laughs> these sites block us for speaking the truth about trash, but yet they show all this. Just ended there. <laughs> What's that handle? Speak the truth. What? For, for, for a road. Forad. Okay. I like how he's so mad at those hot chicks. I like when guys a, are mad at hot chicks. Oh. It's always a good sign. <laughs> when, I, when a guy is like fucking bitches and their tits Taunt. and their asses hanging out. Taunting me. Yeah. 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 He's it's just good. mad because they're not. Yeah. Hey, you're not even going to point out that 
He's got the I'll make you come guy's glasses. He does. And he's, he's a, watching Rachel Maddow probably. And he's got a wolf. Uh, <laughs> what is that? Like a sculpture, kind of a f- flat piece yep. on the wall. Powerful. And he's got a great angle. <laughs> and he's a thermostat a really apparently. Really good angle. <laughs> he's got AC and that's cool. Yeah. Very good angle, sir. <laughs> you get the treatment. All right. Go figure. Oh. I post something about libtards. <laughs> And it instantly gets blocked. You pussies can't handle the truth, can you? You sniveling bunch of little wimps. Mm-hmm. Go back into mommy's basements where you belong, you little pussies. Yeah. It's good. It's you, very good. Well, you think you'd sit up for the talk. Why? <laughs> Just sit up. He does, about... it, he does it almost laying down. <laughs> like he's three quarters laying down. <laughs> sit up. That's where, you, that's where you're going to deliver the truth. Hey, you fucking libtards. You want to hear the truth or not? <laughs> oh, God, I'm resting. <laughs> yeah, it's maybe not the truth. Maybe the truth is exhausting, you know? <laughs> oh, pretty little mouth. You are going to be a very addictive problem. I didn't like that one. No, me neither. That was so spooky, huh? Also, like, look... I'll go after the fat models and I want to go after these types too. If you're going to play the role of the pretty little mouth, you clean up. You got to be yeah. like, I want to see you in a collared shirt or a leather well vest. Groomed. Just like groomed. Mm-hmm. You don't get to wake up and make a pretty little mouth video. <laughs> I know. And like, that's just in his kitchen. Like do it in a dimly lit, yeah. sexy Make it place. sexy. Yeah. I mean, you're not. But like you can make an attempt, <laughs> or it's like a leather daddy, a leather daddy, thing, or a it? guy in a suit, you know? Yeah, yeah, like like, like the Fifty Shades of Earl yeah, Grey guy, yeah. yes, yeah, of Earl Grey, yes. <laughs> Get your mouth down there and put a <laughs> smile on my face. That's something you don't really see a lot. That's why I put her in there. Yeah, usually it's the guys that are kind of cool, but chicks can be cool too. She's very cool. Is she a truck driver? I don't know. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, that's, that, look at the, where this wheel is and stuff. It's, mm-hmm. Wow, they have a lot of cool people in that <laughs> line of work. Just her. Dumbass Sergeant fucking Cooper thought he smelled weed on me, so he brought the fucking goon squad to search my fucking boat. It's a bunch of moron fucking dumb fucks that aren't going to fucking find anything because I don't even have anything. Fucking idiots. All three of you are <laughs> I gotta tell you, this this shit makes me laugh. But it's like it's the dumbest shit you can do. I, it really crazy. is to go off like that on, on. It's crazy. It's crazy. On law enforcement, as they're searching, I think you're just you're out like, of your mind. He's yeah, he's on. People drug. are like, oh, I have ball. a right to. Yeah, you have a right to. This is yeah. You're 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 just like he's high. Well, you're just waiting for something. They're gonna get you on something now. Yeah, because you know? you're a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> That was so aggressive. <laughs> fucking idiots. It was really funny, <laughs> it though. Is, Sergeant crazy. fucking Cooper. Yeah. <laughs> that one made me laugh for a yeah. few days. You and my buddy are getting fucking drunk, and we're going <laughs> to throw shit off the dike. And if you don't know what a dike is, it's a it's by the river, and it's a long pier, and we're going to throw shit off it. <laughs> Do you like that one? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. I mean, this would have been probably three years of my life if I lived near them. <laughs> I think between 14 and 17, I'd be like, let's go throw shit off the dike. Yeah, man. yeah, for sure. Yeah. It's a good time. Yeah, that's that's fucking, that's a fun way to spend an afternoon. To throw shit off of a dike? Yeah. yeah. I like Very the word nice. dike, too. That always made me giggle. Your mother liked that word. Yeah, she would call lesbians. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what these dikes do. And I was like, oh my God. They lick <laughs> each other's to death. death. <laughs> I was like, why are you thinking about it so much, you know? Like Shut looking up. looking yeah. back now, she was really in, upset about what the lesbians were doing. I'm like, yeah. well... Hmm. Why are you so upset about it? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you'd like to. Maybe you then lick a box and yeah. figure it out. Have a taste. She's dead now, though. Yeah. You can only lick boxes in heaven. Your dad also had gay observations. Why? Yeah, he didn't. Why all the time? Yeah, though, he so. didn't like um, these parades. Why yeah. you have to be so proud? Okay, <laughs> nobody gives a shit that you're gay. Yeah. I don't have straight pride parade. Yes. It's the same argument people use for saying the N word. Yeah. You know, like yeah. why can't I? Yeah. Like why, you know. Who, so who's allowed to say it? I yeah. can't say it. Yeah. 
you still see it sometimes people will write it they're like what what word is not allowed I'm like you already know you don't need an explanation <laughs> you already know mm. happy friday <laughs> happy friday no, didn't that make you happy yeah, though? Yeah, that was pretty nice. That was cute. Yeah, that was kind of fun. Yeah. Thanks. You're welcome. Jesus. Everything I everyone I click on gives me a like a panic <laughs> and then that was fun. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Name one thing that you could actually do better after drinking alcohol. I'll go first. So at first I hated him and I hated his dumb instrument. And then I thought about it and I was like, well, he's kind of right. What would be better than doing that when you're when you're kind of hammered? Like, I bet it's kind of fun. Doom, 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 Wait, I thought doom, what he was saying is that you can't do anything better when you drink alcohol. Than play that instrument. Well, he said name one thing. Better than playing that instrument, right? Is that what I understood it to be? Like, hey, name one thing I better thought it than was a this. pro not drinking message. Name oh. one thing. <laughs> Oh, I thought I'll it, go first and then there's nothing. Oh, yeah. I thought it was, hey, I'm pretty hammered right now and I'm playing this oh. thing. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> That's what I understood. I was like, that does sound fun, dude. Uh, I want to get ripped and play that thing. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't maybe you're right. I don't know. Potato potato. But yeah. I think you're right because that guy is the kind of hippie that's like, you does know, he, need a does he have that message a lot in his videos? Uh, this is the only one I've uh, seen of his, but okay. I mean it's so funny how all hippies love the same shit. It's like the hippie. I like that thing. Thing, that thing, the hacky sack, uh, uh, hemp. What's up? Nothing. Frisbees. Frisbees. Yeah. Hippies love frisbees. It's so fun. Doctor Ed Zimmerman, the Dick Doc on TikTok, oh, bringing yeah. you fun facts. This is the circumference or girth of the average pickle. It's about one inch across in diameter. This toilet paper tube is the circumference or girth of a really well endowed pickle usually four and a half to five inches this is five and a half inches all the way around and about an inch and three quarters across fun facts from the dick doc on tiktok <laughs> thanks doc i thought you guys would like that yeah you know, we always like dick talk in here sure it's there'll, like be a, some, there'll be some measuring later dick talk <laughs> I think every, everybody will write their number down, I'm sure. No. And then we have to guess? No, we're not going to. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm saying everybody will keep it to themselves, Christina. Oh. We're not going to put people's be a fun game. <laughs> dick numbers on here, okay? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you seem like you're blushing right now. I'd love to know that. Really? Oh. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that curious about the Booth Boys' dicks. I, I'm yeah. not that curious. That sounds like I'm not that not curious either. <laughs> <laughs> nah no it's okay I, mean, I think you want to know it's okay i mean but, look i'm curious about all things perverse and stupid and silly like yeah i just i'm interested in the dumb all well, dumb i wouldn't things. say that's the dumb oh. i just think that these are your employees and maybe we shouldn't be like tell me your dick size that's true that's true no you're right okay that's true okay. you guys do what you want with those okay okay Dun, 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 dun. All right. Um, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Um, get Tommy's book. Please get. Please pre-order the book. I'd like to play alone. Please, you can pre-order it. Go to tomsegrow.com slash book. And it gives you the links to every place you can pre-order it. So it's not just one destination. You can literally find the big names, the independents. Like I said, e-books, audio books. It's all there. The closing song is Garth and Trish Save the World mm -hmm. by St. George. Mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Garth Brooks. And Trisha Yearwood. And we're proud to say we stand with Ukraine, especially the refugees. There's a global initiative, and of course, supplies and aid is already spread thin. And this is where you come in. We need your help. We need you to donate. Yeah, I mean, we, we always ask for love and prayers. Please keep doing that. But we're also going to ask you, dig in your pockets. Be part of the greatest global relief plan mankind has ever seen. Everybody deserves dignity. Everybody deserves a roof over their head to feel safe. You can be a part of that. Yeah, amen. Amen. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. like that full episode of your mom's house are your jeans as high and tight as they can be i doubt it watch some more clips dude look at that one watch that one right here or maybe here maybe here maybe <laughs> maybe you should subscribe that way every time a new video gets posted you'll be notified stay in the know jeans subscribe now <laughs>